Hello everyone, I'm trying something new today. I have this lovely picture of, uh, it's a doodle, a labradoodle, golden doodle, I don't know, it, it, she has, her name is Valkyrie and she has a kind of a whitish, tannish, grayish muzzle and it's just adorable and I will, I will share the reference photo but right now that I have the camera set up, I I'm all tangled in wires, and I can't do that right now. So, I've already been messing with colors a little bit. It's a really simple color scheme. The dog is a mixture of kind of a grayish black and tannish gray. So, um, I'll be using, I've been playing with the colors in advance on a cheap sheet of paper, and I've been... Um, Decided to use a combination of ultramarine blue and uh, uh, burnt sienna. And that makes this lovely uh, grayish, brownish, bluish color that I'll be using for most of the dog, for the uh, black parts of the dog. And I'll be using, um, oh, what's that stuff called? I'll remember senior moments. Sorry. Oh, it's called Buff Titanium. And I'm going to be diluting it more than what I did here and then adding some of the other color to it to make the gray. So this is going to be fairly simple color wise, but it's a very curly dog. So I'm going to get started by wetting down most of the dog with a, a hockey brush. The gray parts. Actually, I'll start with the snout. <laughs> I, ch I changed my mind a lot, but we'll st we'll go from light to dark today. This and this brush is a little big for that. So the light markings go right up into the head. So we're gonna start with the light, and then we'll go to the darker colors. And there'll definitely be some layers to this. I've got, I've got a line drawing. And I'm just going to put some of the lighter markings with water. And then I'll start with the lighter color. This in the middle here is white. So I'm not doing anything to that. I'm going to mix up some very dilute titanium, buff titanium. I made it too thick on my reference here, the experimental thing, because it's, it's an opaque color, and I don't want this to be opaque. tissue because I kind of blob water everywhere already. Pick up a little more of the color, the non-color color because okay, I'm just gonna get some of these white markings or off-white markings or beige or whatever you want to call them. Now, it doesn't matter if I get this if I get this all over places I don't want it to be because I'm gonna go over it with the the gray, the dark gray. But by marking this ahead of time like this, I can also see where I want the darker color to be a little lighter. Okay, and there's a little tuft. To the beige but in the middle here it's it's pretty much white and I'm just gonna I'm, I'm pretending that the uh, that the leash isn't there I'm just going down I'm gonna I'm gonna go over this with with the black 
I'm doing this so I can see where it is, where the markings are. A lot of times the markings go away when you paint over it with even a light color. Your toes. Get those toes marked off. Some of the shadows on the, the light, the light part on the feet. Ultramarine. Did I say cobalt blue before? I'm, it's going to be ultramarine blue. I, I sprayed this already to get it activated. I get a fair amount. I want to pick up some burnt sienna and mix it on in. We'll see. Now sometimes dogs have a a really bluish tinge to them. It can be fun to really pick to pick up that blue, but this dog is a little more on the has a little bit of brown undertone, so we're gonna try to mix it fairly evenly. Okay, now I need a little more blue. Try it over here. And that looks good. Now I'm going to take my brush, go over this. Water, and it doesn't matter that the water is dirty, because it's the color I'm going to be putting on. Gonna try not to overdo this, but I always do anyway. Okay. So this water is is dirty and my brush is dirty and this it's actually perfect because I'm gonna put some of this on there. It's about the perfect color to do the highlights or the low lights on the face here. And it will dry lighter. I don't know how many of you know this, but I have narcolepsy, so if I sound like I'm falling asleep all the time, it's because I'm falling asleep all the time. So I'm just trying to um, trying to talk my way through this. I can't always form the words I want, but I hope you bear with me. Okay, now I'm going This tail. And the tail isn't very fluffy, but the legs, the front legs are really fluffy. So I want the water to go a little bit outside. Okay, this here is the collar. I've got a new microphone and I'm hoping it works. If it doesn't, I'll be voicing it over. That'll work anyway, but it doesn't matter. I like, I like to talk long when I'm painting because it's, it's a little more exciting for me and helps me stay awake a little better when I'm just narrating as I go versus trying to remember what I did. Over the collar, so I'll take that, pick that up a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna pick up some of this heavier color. 
what's cool about this color mix is it will separate out a bit. So I'm going to do the darker. I can remember what I did, what markings I made for what. Try to keep this really, really loose. Okay. Kind of watch where the ears are. Kind of dry in the house. It's the winter that won't quit here in Minnesota. My fat head isn't in the way, but I'm thinking it might be. I want it to dry in the house. So paint dries quicker. Paper dries quicker. So then I have to re-wet it to get the effects I wanted. This is just the first, this is just the first layers anyway. And these are colors that are easy to pick up. Granulating colors that it's possible to pick them up even once they're dry. So I want to get the ears. It's funny because as soon as I shut my door to record, people come by and start listening through the door, like, what's she doing? Why is she talking to herself? Yeah, she does that. Okay. Okay, a little bit of... And I got this a little too dark up here. Uh, I'm going to lift off. Soften this a bit. Let it do its thing. A little bit more of this gray on the side of the smuggle. The smuggle. I suppose I was meant to say muzzle, not snout. Came out nuzzle or something. Snout and a muzzle. All right. Okay. Needs some rewetting over here, I can tell. There's a couple ways I can do this. One is just with the brush, and the other is with the big sprayer bottle. But I don't want to get it too I don't want to get it wet in the middle because there is a white a white stripe down the front. So I'll just wet it with my brush. Tail is darker, and the tail isn't fluffy. Okay. I don't need to keep wetting my brush. Just trying to get some curliness in here. Okay. 
a little lighter. Tail is a little darker back there. I painted over the collar again like I didn't want to. Those toes kind of lighter colored. side of the dog and this is also a little darker than the legs that stick out in front here. But I can go back and do that when it dries. Okay, so now I've got a couple of options which are actually this this down here is the bottom of the dog. I need to mix more of my paint. I need it to be a lot thicker. Now what I could do to make this darker is to go with uh, burnt umber, which is here. That'll make it a little bit darker. Darker blue-gray. Still give the good granulating effect. I'm go up and, if I can't help myself, I'm gonna go up and do some of these markings on the head. Give it a little bit more depth. A little bit of an eyebrow over here. Like I said, I might be erasing some. I might be scrubbing it out with a magic eraser after a while. Once it dries. What I'm really trying to do is, is give it some depth here in these in this kind of curly, fluffy fur that she has. I get paranoid when they start hovering around the door. <laughs> Thing is hitting my head. I'm really sorry if my head's in the way. Okay, now a lot more because you know, I thought I could mix enough as I went here, but it might have, this might have been one of those cases where it would have been helpful to take out the tubes of paint. I don't want to mix a lot of it at the beginning, but I do not like to mess with tube paint, so here I am. Here we are mixing more, and then mixing more. And it's too blue, so we need more brown. You can even go with sepia here. Some around the eye here. Just kind of 
Look at eyebrows. sure where the ears end. Oh, there we go again over the collar. <laughs> where the ears end. And where the neck begins, but you know, it's trying to keep it loose. Which is easier said than done. I can let some of this bleed in to the way it's up here because it's kind of uneven dogs bib necktie I guess this dog has a necktie more than a bib okay for these really dark places I'm just gonna dip right into my black do the tail and try to end before I, you know, I, I screwed that up and do the side of the dog here where it's darker. this up a bit just to make it look realistic. I missed some up in here. This does pretty much go over the collar. I'm gonna add probably a little too much of the dark stuff on the nose and then I'll then I'll scrub it off a little to make it really look fluffy.
Okay. That's actually looking pretty good. I'm going to paint in the collar. Paint that in in cobalt blue. It's about the right color, and then I don't want to lose that. Even though the black fur does cover it up to some extent. And I'm I'm gonna ignore the buckle. I'm just gonna make it solid there. I can paint on a ring if I want later with metallic paint. That's enough. That's enough of that. Need a little bit more of this tan. It comes down and across. <laughs> Job, there's green on my palette. I do not want green fur. No green. good for a first wash and once it dries and actually I don't need to let it dry I'm gonna grab a scrubber brush here I'll just scrub this up a bit in the middle just want to get this bib looking like it does and it's the hair is kind of straight. It's a little <laughs> dry this through the tissue on the floor. So I'll take a new one. My head's looking a little strange. So let's just put some of these markings back. Fuzz up the edges a little. Such a cute puppy. This is actually a service dog. A seizure alert dog, if I remember right. And, and she's just adorable. Beige muzzle of hers. Yeah, I covered up the mouth too much. I'm gonna scrub this around, make it, make it look furry. Abuse the paper. You have good paper, it's meant, to, it's made to take it. Still a little bit of gray. A little bit of gray.
And I can see that I'm going to want to fluff her up and with the magic eraser a little bit too. Just to make her look good and fluffy because this is a very fluffy dog. Oops. I went nuts there. So there. There is part one. I will be back to do the nose and the eyes and another layer and make it a little fluffier in a little bit.